Hey everyone! The history of Fukui, located in central Japan, is deeply intertwined with its prime location right by the Sea of Japan, which gave birth to a unique culinary culture that reaches out all the way to the ancient capital of Kyoto and to the royals themselves. Today, I am traveling to the Wakasa area of southern Fukui with my friend and colleague Zoe, a fellow Fukui resident, to experience everything the stunning area has to offer. Wakasa, here we come! Breathtaking scenery, amazing seafood, and exciting outdoor activities await you in the beautiful southern Fukui locale. A one and a half to two hour train ride from the world famous cities of Osaka and Kyoto will take you to the quaint town of Wakasa, a seaside community of long standing traditions and history nestled in the idyllic Japanese countryside. Upon arriving in Wakasa town, we first head over to the Kumagawa Juku Historic Coast Town, a relay station conveniently located between the Wakasa Bay and the ancient capital of Kyoto. For centuries, exquisite foodstuffs from the Sea of Japan, most notably sea salt and saba mackerel, were transported all the way to Kyoto on this route, which was later named the Mackerel Highway. The old-timey post town has been bustling with activity ever since the Edo period of 1603-1868, and it once saw as many as 400 overnight travelers in a single day. In line with Japan's reputation as a place where tradition meets modernity, a bunch of new innovative projects such as cafes, guest houses and flea markets are also regularly launched in the area, meaning there is always something new to experience around these parts. At the Wakasa Kumagawa Juku Michinoeki Roadside Station, visitors can get their hands on local specialties and other unique souvenirs, as well as try some of that delicious Wakasa gastronomy. Speaking of which, here is the guest house we will be staying the night at to make the most of our time in the community and experience for ourselves the warm hospitality of its wonderful people. The charming inn, located in a typical Japanese fishing village, offers everything travelers could dream of. A comfortable stay and a chance to mingle with locals. A dreamy setting that feels like something straight out of a postcard. And of course, an unparalleled dining experience. The guest houses around here provide only the freshest of seafood and since dinner is made up of what was caught on that very same day, the menu is always changing. The sheer size of it, however, will take your breath away every time as the fishermen running these inns always know how to make the most of seasonal foods. I mean, I've never seen such a beautiful display of fish in my life. Unbelievable. The fish is so fresh, the seafood is amazing. And it's nice because you, you're so close to the innkeepers, they're so sweet. What time is it now? It's boring, yeah. <laughs> start to the day. <laughs> Why are we up so early in the morning, you may ask? That's because today we get to accompany fishermen on their work day a fun activity visitors to Wakasa can partake in throughout the warmer season. What a unique experience and a great way to get to know Fukui the way locals know it. Let's go! Through this traditional fishing method, using large nets set in place around the Wakasa Bay, a wide variety of fish can be caught. I wonder what we'll be able to get our hands on today. Let's hope for a big one. On the tour, visitors get to watch the fishermen at work on their boats as the fish jump up and down in the water before our eyes. A spectacular sight that perfectly embodies the essence of Wakasa town and the whole of Fukui prefecture. Fukui is full of other surprises. To know more about this hidden gem of central Japan, look for Experience Fukui on your favorite social media platform. As always, thank you for watching and see you soon!